If a person has passed the journey of 12 valleys cleanly and knows that life is made up of 108 energies, if he leaves these behind, he completes the journey of a human being. The first energy is dying. The second energy is how am I crawling? How am I feeling bad? How am I trying to be good? How am I good? In these five energies, people are more aware of their there are 103 energies to realize very good, wonderful, 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 magnificent, miracle, beyond miracle, beyond miracle, beyond life. I am beyond creativity, I am beyond secrets, I am Rafikistan, Ugaristan, by adding Istan to the end of our name. Dear friends, at step 16, I am beyond energy. At 17, I am beyond love. At 18, I am beyond surrender. At 19, I am beyond amazement. At 20, I am beyond peace. I am beyond the infinity of infinity in 21. I am beyond Nurusha. I am beyond poetry. I am beyond Ka. I am beyond sultanate, I am beyond dreams, I am beyond fairy tales. I am beyond Kamaran, I am beyond the Emerald Phoenix, I am beyond truth, I am beyond 30, I am beyond brother life, I am beyond 31, I am beyond decision. 32, abundance, abundance beyond 31, decision beyond 35, energy, bliss beyond 36, energy. I am beyond myth, energy 37, beyond Atlantis, energy 38, I am beyond eternal youth, 39. Energy, I am beyond existence, 40. Energy, I am beyond consciousness. If we reach the energy of 188, dear friends, I will have completed our journey to human perfection. Here, dear friends, for 2,800 years, Homer wrote this work. Until today, thousands of professors have been trained. Tens of thousands of students have taken this in their mythology classes until today. To this day, kings give it to their children like mother's milk. They made them drink the Iliad and the Odyssey, memorize them, grow up with them. These two epics of Homer for 2,800 years waiting to be announced. The announcement came to Refik Korkmaz and our trainers. Dear friends, I am... I was able to access these unconscious realities of these epics through the channeling of our trainers. I would like to express my gratitude to them all. Idioms, proverbs, manies, lullabies, riddles, rhymes, nursery rhymes, fairy tales, epics, legends. With the third eye. In other words, it should be examined from beyond consciousness. The authors of these works have already created them from beyond consciousness. It is impossible to process a product that has been created beyond consciousness with consciousness. It is impossible to understand it with consciousness. Here are all these mythological materials. They were created by the unconscious. They are created with the third eye. None of them were created with consciousness until today. The Odyssey was thought of as the 20 year adventure of a king. Yes, a king's 20 year adventure from 30 to 50, but a 10 year journey through the world of evil. And the journey of the next 10 years is a journey of purification and cleansing, dear friends. Odysseus, when he stayed in Troy for 10 years, no king welcomed him into his house. How could he invite him to destroy the house of the king of Troy? To kill his men, his people, his children. He didn't receive a single gift in Troy. How could the Trojans give gifts? He went to destroy the house of the Trojans to kill them. He stayed in Troy for 10 years. He either slept in a shack, slept in the open, or slept among corpses. The thefts. All the Greek soldiers were killed when the war ended. They considered it a great success and took home the stolen goods. They took home the stories of the people they killed, how they killed, how they cut them up. A treasure to tell for the rest of their lives. How pathetic. Odysseus was the only one. He said no. And when Odysseus said no, it took him 10 years to get home because he had been a guest for 10 years. His journey of repentance always took him to the palaces of gods and goddesses. He was their guest and received gifts from them. If a person becomes bad, no one will show him any kindness or favor. If a person embarks on the journey of human perfection, everyone offers him all the beauties, dear friends. Now let us understand a little bit about Homer who created this work. Homer is called a blind bard living on this mountain, on the camp mountain. Those who call him blind are actually mind blind themselves. Homer, when he wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey with such depth, he would not tell his audience with both eyes open. 
He would close his eyes and tell this information through his third eye. And when his listeners rumored that he must be blind, that he had been talking for hours without opening his eyes, and to this day. We know, dear friends, that those who say blind, we know, dear friends, you, dear friends, you will write the epic of the Iliad. People will only get the taste of war and heroism. However, as much as the taste of war and heroism, gynecology is also covered in the sciences. That's how much it tastes. It is a book of meditation and it tastes as good. It is a book of information on how the universe was created, a book of geology, a book of geography. It tastes as good. Yet these tastes have not been available to humanity for 2,800 years. With our trainings, these other tastes will be available to humanity. Until today, Odysseus was not treated as a human journey. Only a taste of the king's adventure was considered sufficient. Whereas the human, the journey of the Camille, the book of meditation, the book of healing, and their tastes will enrich the human minds and will lead to more valuable pleasures, dear friends. You are such a, imagine an artist. He put nine kinds of vegetables in his work and created a dish. People can only understand that it consists of only one vegetable. People think it is only made of green beans, but there are nine other vegetables in it. They enjoyed the flavor of green beans. What if they could taste the other eight vegetables? How marvelous it would be. Dear friends, such a writer has so fused all this information into each other. He used nine different ingredients. Only one of those materials was understood in 2,800 years. If it wasn't for Refik Korkmaz, dear friends, the other eight materials would have been understood after 24-0 years. At 26-0 AD, Odysseus's, and all the mysteries of the Iliad would be revealed. Dear friends, you, Odysseus, you can get archaeologists, you can get mythology teachers, you can get archaeologists, you can get mythology professors. This is a field. You can make it available to the press, the media, the enthusiasts. You can offer it to royal families and aristocracy who raise their children with it. They will enjoy it immensely. They will want to listen to you for months and years. They will welcome you in their palaces. I hope it will be like this. You will tell them about them. Circe is in charge of the Holy of Holies. Hades is in charge of the realm of the dead. And Hades is, is a reckoning with the dead. The siren cliffs are the fifth dimension, the place where the light of Allah Almighty resides and where souls go. Time, the atom, matter where there is no gravity, that everything is only from the voice of Allah. That the Karabites' gateway is not to eat haram, to eat halal, that the Skyla passage is the passage of truthful words. That the Calypso is the soul in that clip, you understand and explain that the Calypso is the soul in that clip. Your shareholders, that we have hair, that we have funeral attendees, that Odysseus's house is the fifth dimension. That Penelope, Odysseus's wife, is the divine beloved. That an arrow through 12 axe holes hitting the target at 12, the Emerald Phoenix. That he has a journey of 12 valleys, 108 suitors, that there are 188 energy steps that man has to overcome, and that the olive tree, the highest frequency, you explain that the plane tree has the same highest frequency, the woman of the olive tree. You explain that the plane tree represents man. You explain that the olive tree represents faith, abundance, fertility, peace, all kinds of beauty. Odysseus epic. Odysseus, the epic of Odi, Odi means spirit. Odi is the one who knows everything and knows nothing. 
It means he has suffered all hardships and achieved all beauty. It means no one. It means everyone. So, dear friends, if a person realizes Odi, if he realizes his soul, he becomes everyone. He becomes everything. He becomes the attainer of all beauty. The Odysseus epic is about becoming one with our soul. To be guided by our soul. The Odyssey of Odysseus. 20 years of adventure. The journey is our journey. Fifth dimension, 12 o'clock in the spirit world. Our soul comes from 12 o'clock. When we become one, dear friends, look at me now. I entered level one. I was born a baby. By two o'clock, I was crawling, crawling on the floor where my hand was. Three o'clock. Because I can't run. I feel bad. It's four o'clock where my hand is. I start walking, but I can't quite run. I'm stumbling. I feel I'm trying to be good. Five o'clock, I start walking and running. I start being selfish. And six o'clock, I've seen all the hardships and evils of life. And now I want to get rid of them. It means I'm opening my third eye. It's seven o'clock. I've recognized the Holy Quran. It's eight o'clock. I realized I had to settle accounts with the spirits. I had to make amends. Nine o'clock, I understood the Holy Quran. 10 o'clock, I understand Calypso. 11 o'clock means I'm dead and people are born at one and die at 11. And then at 12, about to go back to their homes. They leave this world. Think of fairy tale heroes. The ash cat has to be home at 12. All heroes have to be home at 12, dear friends. 12 is the spirit world. Now let's take a look at Odysseus's journey. Let's talk about it. When Odysseus was in Ithaca, it was 12 o'clock. Odysseus came to Troy at one o'clock. He fought battles in Troy, two o'clock. He killed people, three o'clock. He killed more people four o'clock. He killed more people five o'clock. He went to Polyphemus's cave at six o'clock. Look at the coccyx, it points at six o'clock, it pointed 12 o'clock, so the coccyx turned, take it in the door stone. The supply. At six o'clock, people open their third eye. At seven o'clock, they have miracles. He goes to Circe's palace. At eight o'clock, he goes to the palace of Hades. They make peace with the dead. At nine o'clock, not to say bad words, not to eat forbidden food. At 10 o'clock, he is in Calypso's palace. He dies at 11 o'clock. Born at one, dead at 11, between two doors. And at 12 o'clock, they go to the spirit world. At 11 o'clock, Odysseus went to the land of the Payax. At 12 o'clock, to his homeland, Ithaca, to the spirit world. The hour, dear friends, is the journey of the human being. Those who have not completed the journey of the human Camille are in sections one through six. This is the dark side. Those who have embarked on the journey of the human Camille. From six to 12, they navigate the luminous part. 